got home from a little late season deer hunt and uh, trying out the, the Rambo Crusader. Just FYI, you're gonna get muddy if it is wet. You're going to get muddy. So uh, even with fender flares, that's with fender flares. Just too much water and mud to not um, get some kicked up on you. All right, so the, the Rambo tailgate cover, um, it hauls them really good. I mean, I'm really impressed. I, I kind of thought this Velcro strap wasn't going to be able to do it. But, I mean, that sucker's in there. Now, it's it's pinched in here. Uh, you can tell there's nothing in the back um, keeping it held up. You're going to need your, your truck totally empty because you have to get it all the way to the back before you can load it. So, you know, that, like that basketball was constantly in the way um, trying to load and unload these Crusaders. So, um, I'm by myself. I'm going to unload mine and kind of show you how this goes. It's it's kind of a cluster, um, but I'm hoping I can kind of show you how, how I unload this um, by myself. So, first thing on the pad, um, it's got this little flap here. Uh, that's where your tailgate, uh, where you can get your tailgate down, where your camera would be. Uh, this little thing will flip over. It's got a little notch here that goes into this. So it'll stay back, which is which is great. Um, but you can't have it like that when the bikes are on there because um, the it, your tire is going to be here and you don't want to have your tire banging on that. So when you're not hauling them, this is a good way to do it. Then when you are hauling them, uh, you want to release this and flip it down. Um, and it Velcro's down, so that's good. One thing that I did is I put a little bit of uh, black electrical tape here, or duct tape, I should say, because I didn't... I, I can't imagine these aren't rubbing at some point. So I did that on all of them. And it seems to have worked good. I, I don't have any rub, but you can see where this one has kind of got off of it just a little bit. It didn't rub the paint, it doesn't look like, but uh, you can just see it's kind of rubbed the dirt off. So you know over, long, over a long time that would uh, be a problem. So next thing, let's pop this down. There are four spots here that you can mount bikes to. And they are, at first, I thought, man, there ain't no way these Velcro straps are going to be good enough to uh, hold a bike on. But they work really good. The bike really did a good job. You'll need these big ones if your battery's on. Um, you could use these, I guess, if you didn't have a battery on. I don't really know about these little ones. But the big ones are the ones I used. Uh, and they, they really held the bike steady. You've got three straps here that you'll cinch down uh, once you get everything kind of lined up. I kind of had them loosely put on. Um, had them loose and then I would get this thing kind of situated the way I wanted it where it lined up and everything and then just give them a good cinch down and make sure my tape and stuff was lined up on them. So the pad itself is pretty thick. Um, I thought it might be a little like would fold up a little more but it's it didn't. It's it's nice and thick up top here. You can see that thick about an inch thick there. It's not as thick down in this area but it is thick enough that you shouldn't have uh, it shouldn't hurt your vehicle at all. And so far, I don't think mine's had any issues with that. So let's look at how to load a bike in here, how I did it. Uh, we did. We went with two on the last trip we were on. We hauled uh, two bikes on it. So I'm just going to put one in it today. So this uh, video is going to be a little backwards because I'm fixing to put one bike in. Um, and when we hauled them the other day, I've had two in. There's a bike over here. Um, we had two in here. So it's a little different. But after getting done with that hunt, I thought, this is not what I thought it would be. So I'm going to... Um, show people kind of how it goes and then before you spend $120 on this Rambo tailgate pad um, you'll know what you're getting yourself into see if it's worth it yourself so this is how um, I'm gonna how I, we installed our bikes um, it does help to have two people they are heavy they're about 80 pounds a piece um, so when you get ready to install or load one of these and strap it in it would help to have two people but I don't have two people today so I'm gonna do it myself all right, we're backed up here to the tailgate. I've got the back part here. The back part's obviously the heaviest part. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab under the um, seat base here, and I'm gonna grab somewhere up here on the frame, and I'm basically just power cleaning it. Again, if you're a smaller man or a, a small woman, this is not gonna be fun for you. This truck's got a, a lift kit on it and 35 inch tires, so it's a little bigger than, uh, a little higher than most, but I do have it kind of on incline so this, to make this a little easier. So I'm gonna grab the frame, just put the rear end up on it, and I'm going to walk it in. Once I get it in, I'm just going to kick that, uh, kick the stand down. So the goal is to get it in the uh, in the bed somehow, and then drop the tailgate down or drop the uh, kickstand down, so now I can get up in here. Right, got it all the way in. Close that up. Up 
pick this front end up. All right, so this part is why I wanted to have the camera up in here. Your mud flap, which you gotta have a mud flap, um, is gonna be smashed. So you have to take it off or it's gonna get broke. Um, that's the only, this is one of the worst parts about this I don't like. That whole design of it has to go where the mud flap is. I don't like that idea. So I'm gonna take this mud flap off, just pop it off. All right, so I've popped off the mud flap, but now it's riding on these plastic uh, pieces you see here. Not crazy about that. I think eventually those are gonna break and I'm not gonna have a mud flap on there. So that's, I don't like that, but it worked. I didn't, it didn't break one. Um, so now I'm gonna take this longer Velcro strap. Come over the top here. All right, so I've got the longer Velcro strap, Velcro to itself. I leave the kickstand down. I don't know if it matters or not, but it's in there pretty sturdy. Um, probably could kick that kickstand up. I mean, it's it rode all the way to our hunt about an hour away um, and back, and we had two of them side by side here. No issues at all. On this vehicle, I uh, on the way there, I ran a bungee, all these rubber bungees like this. From there to here, just to keep it kind of straightened up and down on the way back, I didn't even do it. Didn't seem to matter at all. So I don't know that I would necessarily think you have to have that. But that's how it's gonna ride. Um, it doesn't seem to hit anything. If you look at me, it's just on the pad itself. Um, there's nothing, I just I just don't like that. Um, but that's all that happens. I mean, I guess that's the, not the worst thing. Um, you think you got a lot of room in here for storing stuff and I just got trash in here, but you need every bit of it to get the bike in, close the tailgate and then get the bike worked over here. We had two of them. So you can imagine this would be the area I would have a second bike trying to get it over here and get it strapped on. Um, it's a little more packed than I thought it would be. All right. So unload. Unstrap the Velcro. Pick it up off the floor. Tailgate. Drop the tailgate. Pull it up to the very edge. Get down. Again, just gonna get underneath the seat. Pull it off. Try to gently set it in. So now that's unloaded, I'm gonna pop this back on. Not a big deal, just four little flaps, but at some point, I'm gonna probably have to get an extra one of these just to keep in my saddlebags for when they do eventually break off. That, that cheap plastic's just not gonna be able to stand up to being strapped to that tailgate the whole time. Um, not too big a deal. Uh, it's you are going to need to be able to lift. It's, it's heavy. Um, this thing does a pretty good job taking it off. Just loosen these straps. And it'll just slide right off. You can see, I don't have any. Scratches, rubs, dents, or anything like that out of the ordinary um, from the bike. I mean, they've, we're resting on this top part and it seems to be doing a good job of, of keeping everything from getting beat up. It's just dirty, but doesn't seem to have any big scratches or dings that would have been caused from the uh, bike itself. Another good thing about the uh, tailgate pad from Rambo is it just folds up. You can actually put it in there small bag or something, but it does fold up nice and neat and store it up here out of the way until you need it again. Um, I think we're pretty well done until about turkey season or shed hunting season, so storing it up there out of the way. Um, pros and cons. Why would you buy, you know, the $100 um, Rambo bike pad, especially if it's um, going to eventually probably break that um, 
part there where your mud flap attaches. Um, if you're hauling a camper, if you're hauling a trailer, then you can't use a bike rack. So how are you going to get your stuff there? Uh, that is a good way to haul it, especially if you're going to have a bike rack or, some, or a trailer or a camper or something at a boat attached on the back there. And those are situations we're going to run into. So it's a good, cheap, affordable way compared to what the expensive bike racks cost. That's a good way to transport it. So um, that's why I got one. I am I do like it. It's just a little more cumbersome than I thought it would be. Um, getting the bike up in there, you need every bit of that bed space. If you had a Tacoma, I don't really know how you'd do it. Like an S10, a Tacoma, one small, you know, Rangers. I don't know how you would haul it because um, it takes every bit of my bed in a full-size truck to get it in, turn the wheel sideways to close the tailgate, to then pick it up and then, uh, you know, strap it onto the tailgate. So something to think about. Um, it does, they do ride good. It holds them good. Not an issue with that. So those are, those are good positive things. Um, it's more of a, uh, it's more of a concern with just how cumbersome it is and how heavy it is. And it's not going to be quick. Like I thought you'd just be able to throw your bike in and take off. Um, it's not necessarily going to be like that. Take this duct tape off that I had on there. Um, but it gets the job done. It'll get you there. It'll get your bike there safely. And that's really the main goal. And it's pretty affordable. So and it keeps your vehicle from getting beat up. Um, if it costs you a $20 or $30 little piece of plastic every year or so, maybe that's not a big deal.